Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ralph and I am a 3D printing engraving. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Creality A1. We'll be um, setting up the rotary tool. I have the chuck rotary from Creality. I'll take you through the steps on setting it up, uh, what to do. We're going to be using Design Space, which is Creality's own version of like kind of like Lightburn. It's their laser software. Um, really, it's really nice um, development. It's um, still beta, but it's, it's coming along very nicely. Uh, I'll take you through all the steps on how to set up the rotary tool through there. And we'll create a cup. There you go. Came out excellent. It was my first shot at doing the cup. So it was um, a very nice turnout. I mean, I won't complain. <laughs> I will not complain. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Let's me know that you guys like the videos. It allows me to create more content. And um, I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Thank you. First thing we'll do is remove four screws. These four screws right here. One. Two three, and four. These four screws are removed. Let me just get them out of the way. We'll go ahead and slide this tray out. It has a little handle on the front here. Just lift it up and you can pull it out the front. Just like that. These are just some 3D printed legs I made for the A1. Um, I made a quick design. I put them on my Etsy shop if you guys want to buy them. I'll put a link below. Um, they're like a dollar. Now that we got the unit raised up, we'll go ahead and add the Creality Rotary tool. Just slide it in here from above. We'll just run the cable underneath it. 
and we'll plug it into the extension cord that came with the A1. Just clip it in and then on the side we'll plug the four prong in on the side. We'll take the four prong, just put it into the rotary port on the side here, quick and easy. All right, now that we're inside, oops. All right, now that we're inside Falcon Design Space, we're gonna to go to Canvas. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that under File here, Settings, go to Advanced, you have Enable Rotation. Once that's enabled, go ahead and close this up. Measure your cup, measure your ring, measure whatever you're doing that's a circle. Come down here and put in the parameters. Mine is 275 millimeters. We're using the black business card. I have a black mug. We're gonna try 5,000 at 80. Actually, you know what, let's go 4,080. That should be more than enough. I haven't used it in a while, so. This is a 10 watt laser. This is the brand new A1 that we're using. So we'll go 4,000 by 80 for black. It's a generic tumbler, so nothing special. Let's go ahead and take a picture. All right, we'll go ahead and import an image. I have one on my desktop. We're gonna use Kong. Uh, yeah, we could resize it. And that's still way too big. Size them down even more. We're going to rotate them 270 so he's facing the right way. And he's pretty big, so we'll just shrink him up a little bit. I don't want him too big on my cup. All right, we'll go something like that. Um, he's close to the edge, not too bad. This is a this is for testing purposes only, so I'm not too worried about it. Next thing we're gonna do is take this image. We're gonna trace it. Let's make it black and white. Let's trace it. Um, Get close in just to see what it looks like. A little smoothly. We'll give it a little smoothness. I mean, that looks pretty decent. I don't expect miracles, but we'll go ahead and confirm. We'll slide that off, delete it, make sure under layers, it's still showing. Go ahead and remove this stuff out of our way. Still showing 5,000 by 80. We did 4,000 before. Let's go ahead and put it back to 4,000. I'm just going to slide them down just a little bit more. All right, now that we have 270 set, current position, we're going to put it at top center. So it'll be right here is where the start point is, and then it'll go every which way it needs to. I think that's it. I mean, all we have to do is hit frame, start, and we should be good. Let me go ahead and frame it. 
All right, it looked like it framed okay. You could hear it in the background. We'll go ahead and start. Um, I'll show you when it's done. All right, I went ahead and cleaned the image up. Just took a magic eraser to it. Here you can see it. Um, sorry about the light shining into it, but I mean, it came out. It came out great. I wish I could um, try to get it to show better here. 